Hey, and welcome back to another video from my Vintage Tech Showcase playlist, the playlist of videos where I showcase older electronic devices in a form of retro style review. And what we have here today is the Sony Ericsson Spyro from 2010. Uh, there you go, that's the uh, startup sound. So the Sony Ericsson Spyro is a sliding phone or a slider phone that was released in 2010 and was focused mainly on the mid-range market. Uh, as you can see, it is a tiny, uh, simple slider phone, no, no gimmicks, no nothing major uh, in terms of uh, the phone's design or uh, features or anything like that. It was a basic phone, however, it was a Walkman phone. So calling it basic is also a bad take because it was focused on music but then again there were a lot of other Walkman phones as well so it's not special in any way but uh, I personally think it's a really nice looking phone so I got my hands on one and this is the green version the uh, they call it spring green uh, and uh, it's more of a lime green on the back as you can see there uh, but uh, Sony Ericsson called it spring green and this is the rarest version of this phone the spring green version uh, does not uh, show up that often. Uh, the other colors include the uh, stealth black, uh, one of the black colors and then contrast black and sunset pink. The pink is technically red. Uh, stealth black is like a matte black and then contrast black is uh, a more glossy black. And uh, this thing used to retail for about 80 euros uh, back when it was released in uh, 2010. It was also known as the uh, Sony Ericsson W100i. Uh, that was basically its model number. Uh, the Spyro is just sort of the nice name uh, that it it, uh, that it got for its uh, general selling purposes but as a whole it was known as the Sony Ericsson W100i Spyro and in terms of uh, history that's all that you can really cover on this phone there's nothing major in terms of history on this phone it didn't make the news or anything like that I would say pretty basic phone so here today in this video, we'll be covering this phone in detail, going over all its uh, specs and its details, its camera, uh, samples, uh, speaker tests, software, uh, the whole nine. You know, if you're a uh, regular on this channel, you know how the Vintage Tech Showcase playlist works, all the videos on this playlist. I will be covering all of that on this phone here today. So as usual, before jumping right in, don't forget to smash that like button down below as it helps this video get on YouTube's algorithm. And also don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and ring that bell notification button so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. Also, don't forget to leave a comment down below and let me know what you think about the Sony Ericsson uh, Spyro. Uh, do you own one in your collection? Did you own one at some point? Do you want to get your hands on one? Uh, or anything else you want to let me know about this phone? Um, and uh, if you have any questions also, don't forget to leave them down in the comment section below. We can start a discussion or I can answer your questions. Uh, my social media is linked down in the description below, which includes Instagram, Discord, and Twitter. I highly urge you to join our Discord uh, server. It's full of uh, like-minded people who like to talk about phones and all that stuff it's a really good community and i'm trying to build my twitter as well and uh, instagram as well is somewhere i post really often so don't forget to check out my social media and now let's jump right into this video all right, so now let's talk about the design and build quality first here. Um, now, as you can see, the phone is really tiny. Uh, it's a, a really small phone uh, by modern standards. As you can see, uh, the phone uh, next to an iPhone 12 Pro Max, it's extremely small. But even back in the day, it was uh, comparatively quite small for a phone from 2010. Um, the size, as you can see, um, is uh, on the back also, it transfers to a really sort of pebble-like look when, you, when the phone is closed. And this was a common theme among uh, a lot of uh, Walkman design phones, uh, phones that were designed for the Walkman line. Uh, they were meant to be small, portable, uh, have a really long battery life, look good, and of course output really good audio. And this phone does all of that. As you can see, there's another Walkman phone over there, the 750i over there. I'll cover that in the future, but all these phones are identically sized and have really striking colors and look really good. Uh, this phone is no different. It has a really nice uh, lime green at the back and green at the front. And the red one also looks really nice, but I had to get the green one because it was, it was my favorite and it's the most rare color of the lot as well. So that's the general design of this phone. Let's have a closer look at the features on the design. So up front, we have the ear speaker here, up top here, we have Sony Ericsson branding. The display, we'll talk about that in a bit. 
We have color matching Walkman logo. We have a color matching Walkman logo over here, matching the color of the keypad and this uh, uh, control dial as well, the uh, directional controls. I really love this uh, design with the green ring around it to match all the other colors. They did a really good job with that design. Uh, it matches the same on the other colors as well uh, with the uh, red and the black and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, the keypad is recessed a bit. As you can see, the buttons are recessed. However, they're not annoyingly recessed and you can press them pretty easily. Uh, the color of the leds are also really cool as you can see they're orange that goes really well with the green uh, we have a microphone under here on the top part of the display so you can use the call uh, you can use the uh, phone on a call while the phone is open or closed so it doesn't really matter moving on to the bottom of the phone here as you can see uh, we have a place to put your finger and take off the back cover we also have a lanyard strap uh, uh, two holes for the lanyard strap over there and nothing else on the bottom Moving on to the side of the phone, as you can see, we have a very large volume rocker. Of course, this was a Walkman phone. The volume rocker had to be large and accessible because this phone was mainly focused on music. Moving on to the top of the phone, of course, there's a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack that outputs really good audio. Again, a Walkman phone, it had to have good audio. Moving on to this side, we have a micro USB port for charging and syncing. And finally, at the back of the phone, we have a single uh, mono speaker over there. We'll get to the speaker in a while. And we have Sony Ericsson branding here, Walkman branding here, and a simple camera uh, without a flash at all uh, or any other features, no uh, fancy uh, technology in the camera. That's just a simple camera and we'll get to the camera in a bit as well. So in terms of design and stuff, pretty basic. It looks really nice though, uh, uh, in my opinion, the color matching and everything. And the simple design uh, has its own allure to it as well and that's what walkman phones were all about simple design good colors long battery life and uh, a small size as well to fit in your pocket so big thumbs up to the design good old sony ericsson walkman design so the display on this thing is a tft lcd display uh, with 256,000 colors so not the crappy 65,000 colors but not the uh, full palette of 16 million colors. However, uh, the good spot in the middle, which is 256,000 colors, a TFT technology, uh, which is LCD. Uh, the display size is 2.2 inches, so diagonally like that, 2.2 inches, uh, with a resolution of 240 by 320 pixels, so 240 by 320 pixels, uh, which gives it an aspect ratio of 4 by 3 and a pixel density of about 182 pixels per inch. It's a pretty basic display. It's nothing uh, to die for however it gets the job done more than enough the pictures and photos and whatever stuff you uh, take or download on this phone will look just perfectly sufficient on this display uh, then again it was a uh, mid-range phone it wasn't something uh, that uh, was supposed to uh, be a high end or a upper mid-range it was dead mid-range so uh, you shouldn't expect too much on the display however the display gets the job done really well. The colors are decently sharp. They're uh, quite accurate as well. Uh, not entirely accurate, but quite accurate. And uh, it's really bright as well. This screen is extremely bright. We're on a medium setting, but as you can see, it's extremely bright. Uh, so outdoor performance is also great. When I took this out today, the outdoor perform performance was great uh, under bright sunlight. So overall, a really nice display. Uh, something that you'd expect for a phone like this in this price range from the Walkman lineup. Nothing surprising or overly amazing but uh, just in the sweet spot for a phone uh, like this priced at this uh, 80 euros ish price range so uh, good job on the display uh, in terms of what Sony Ericsson put into this uh, perfect for exactly what this phone was designed for all right, so now to discuss the internal specifications of this phone and now it's not a smartphone so you're not gonna have uh, overly uh, great features, you just have the basic uh, dumb phone features. This is not a feature phone either so you're not gonna have smartphone features in a dumb phone package. Uh, so this is completely what they call a dumb phone. There's no smartphone features on this thing. Everything is very basic. So in terms of internal specifications, we have a micro SD expansion slot inside the battery bay that can go up to 16 gigs. Uh, the phone book can store 2000 entries and it also can store uh, photo calls. Uh, the call records also can do about a thousand entries, I think. Uh, I could not find some perfect information on this online. I couldn't find perfect information, but 
It's roughly about a thousand entries on the call records and it has an internal storage of five megabytes. Uh, that's as much as uh, general specs go on the internet. However, uh, the processor on this thing is probably just a very slow Texas Instruments processor, probably about 128 megahertz, about, yeah, roughly 128 megahertz. This thing probably has like 32 megs of RAM-ish. That's also pushing it. It's probably less than 32 for all we know. However, uh, there's not much on uh, in the way of specs on the internet on this thing. It's a it's not a smartphone, so nobody bothered to look into all of that. So it's probably a 128 megahertz Texas Instruments processor with about 32 megs of RAM and uh, 16 gigs of storage is a plenty storage to put all your music into this thing. At the time in 2010, uh, 16 gigs was more than enough. And even in 2022, if you don't have a overly massive library, that is just perfect. So those were the basic internal specifications. So in terms of software and uh, general interface, uh, this thing is running a proprietary OS. Uh, it does not have a name of any form. Uh, it's just a proprietary OS for Walkman phones. And it is pretty basic uh, to say the least. It has all your basic features. We have your uh, main screen. This is your basic main screen. As you can see, you can put a wallpaper there as well. Media, menu, and contacts there. We have the uh, date and time down here below as well. This screen is pretty badly scratched up, so you can't really see that well. Uh, <clears throat> unless you put a black wallpaper, but, uh, and also forgive me if I keep pressing this button a lot, that button is actually broken. Uh, I have to fix this button. I have to literally stand on it for it to work. So I need to fix that button. So uh, ignore that. But this is the main interface. As you can see, Play Now, uh, Sony Ericsson's Play Now feature or Sony's Play Now feature. Uh, we have a basic web browser. We have entertainment, which has your other extra stuff. Play now radio games, uh, track ID and uh, record sound, the sound recorder. We have media over here. Your good old Sony Ericsson and Sony eventually uh, media interface. That probably has a lot of nostalgia to it. As you can see, the media interface. This continued on to later Sony phones as well. Um, and yeah, that's that. And then we have, okay, that button is annoying, messaging. And uh, we have the camera over here. We have alarms, we have contacts, the Walkman, your music player. And then we have settings there as well. Um, we have <clears throat> organizer and uh, calls there as well. So that's your general main menu. There's a bit of customization options here inside the uh, the settings. We have uh, your general options here and then uh, you can have sound and alerts and stuff, increasing volume, etc., etc. Just some basic customization, wallpapers, uh, main menu layout. You can put it as a grid or a uh, list. We have themes, so uh, you can switch some themes uh, over here. You can download themes from the Play Now store. Now, the only available ones are Flow Now and Samba. Let us put Samba and I can show you the difference. I forgot what Samba looks like. Let's give it a minute here, it takes a while. <clears throat> so here we are, this is the Samba uh, theme. It's a light green theme and it matches the uh, light green of this phone as you can see there. So that's really nice as you can see. Uh, it's got a white background as well uh, and the scratches on this display make it a bit hard to see that. Uh, so that's an issue, but when you look at it, uh, from from your own eyes uh, it looks just fine it's just through the viewfinder and through a camera that's not really that visible but yeah that is the uh, samba theme that matches the uh, uh, color of this phone the color theming so let us put it back to the blue because uh, it uh, looks uh, it, it has more contrast against the backdrop there Okay, so we are here with the blue theme again, and then we have our screen savers, our startup screen. You can put some custom startup screens. We have brightness, clock size, uh, etc., etc. We can actually make the clock size a bit bigger. That would be nice because the clock size is small, so we'll make it large. Come on. Okay, there we go. Uh, and then we have calls and all the other Bluetooth, etc., etc. Uh, let's see what sort of games are on this thing. So that was under entertainment. So games, we have uh, Quadra Pop. This is a music-based game, but as you can see, it had trouble loading there. So let's load up the game, new game, and uh, it's essentially Tetris, but with music. And you can't really play it with this busted button. So yeah, I hope this music is not copyrighted, but I don't think it is. 
So basically what you do, it's Tetris with music. Something like that, as you can see. Sorry about me moving it towards the side. This button is really messed up here. I think I'm playing this right, I don't know. Yeah. So yeah, that's just a simple game uh, demo of this Quadra Pop game. Uh, let us go back and uh, you can download more games from the Play Now, uh, Play Now store as well. So so yeah, that was the general uh, OS itself. Nothing too major, it's a proprietary OS. Uh, pretty simple stuff and um, it is what it is. There's nothing uh, too surprising there. It was pretty common among all uh, Walkman phones to have a similar OS like that. But yeah, that was the uh, OS and uh, user interface on the Sony Ericsson Spyro. So the camera on this thing is well, a simple two megapixel fixed focus camera without a flash and uh, it can video, uh, it can do video recording at uh, this resolution at this frames per second. Uh, I cannot tell you off the top of my head after I copy it to my computer, I can get the uh, video details out of it because uh, I couldn't find any online either. But yeah, that resolution at that frames per second and it's a fixed focus two megapixel camera without a flash or any two, too many major features it's a very very simple camera however it does take really good photos provided it's bright outside or you have good indoor lighting uh, this thing actually takes some really good photos and decent video for what it is uh, i'll show you those in a bit but first let's go into the camera interface here and uh this is the basic interface. You hold the phone like that. You don't turn it sideways like that. You turn it sideways for a uh, portrait style image and a landscape, you hold it like that. So it's pre-set up for landscape. So you have camera, you can press that button to go to video mode. We have our zoom, which you operate with up and down. And then you have your basic exposure settings there as well. And you can also operate the exposure settings over there with the volume buttons, which is quite nice as you can see there. Uh, I can adjust the exposure with the volume buttons. I have not seen that on any other phone. So that's a nice touch volume button. So for exposure, zoom uh, with the up and down button. So nice touch. Uh, you go to options, you have picture size, night mode, self timer, effects, white balance, picture quality, shutter sound, reset file timer and save to as well. And when you go to video, uh, kind of doesn't tell you the the timer there for some reason that's probably because i'm using the internal memory uh but i think when you put a uh, sd card in the timer also shows so you have your basic shoot mode night mode self time effects white balance microphone reset file number save two a pretty basic camera interface and it has also options for lowering the quality to uh, send in an ESMS or something like that, uh, or send it over the internet. By the way, this this used a simple web browser, so it wasn't overly powerful. So you wanted to reduce the quality of the images if you wanted to send it like that or by ESMS back in 2010. But yeah, let us now roll the camera samples on this phone and the video sample, and you'll see that this thing actually can shoot some decent images. Actually, in some photos, they're really, really nice. Uh, for a very budget phone from uh, 2010 with a simple fixed focus to megapixel camera so really good stuff and we'll roll the uh, photos in three two one
So as you saw with those camera samples, this thing can actually take some really good images provided the uh, bright, provided the lighting is bright enough outside or inside. But uh, for what it is, it's actually a really good camera. I mean, it's just a two megapixel fixed focus camera. You shouldn't be expecting much to begin with, but it still does deliver for that price range and what specs it has. Now for extra, for uh, additional features on this phone, this thing actually has quite a lot. Uh, of course, the main feature of this phone is its Walkman capabilities, its enhanced audio capabilities. So that's important. It's a Walkman phone after all. Uh, it has the Walkman 4.0 player. So the music player on this thing is the Walkman 4.0 player, a redesigned player from, of course, the 3.0. And I'm pretty sure there are further iterations of that as well. Um, this thing can play a, var a variety of music formats, MP3, EAAC, uh, WAV, uh, of course you can play MP4 and H2.64 as well. Uh, it had a Twitter and Facebook application as well, so you can probably download that from the uh, the uh, store that I mentioned earlier, the Play Now store, so uh, Twitter and Facebook applications, probably a few other applications as well. Uh, it has an organizer, uh, it has Java, of course you gotta have Java, uh, MIDP 2.0, uh, that's also a feature, a web browser as well, HTML, uh, and and the general stuff as well. Uh, this thing does not have GPS or Wi-Fi, so no, no GPS or Wi-Fi. However, uh, it should have Bluetooth. Of course, it's a music phone. You want to be transferring stuff between your friends. And uh, you know how it was back in the day. Everyone uh, was transferring music uh, to, to their friends and downloading music from their friends' phones, etc., etc. It was good. It, it was a good time uh, for mobile phones. Uh, if you remember holding your phone next to your buddy's phone so that the Bluetooth signal is strong uh, either like that or like this or like that some depending on where your Bluetooth receiver was not everyone really knew where the receivers were but people were just holding the phones in weird angles I know that because I had a Nokia 5800 back then and that's what I was doing with my friends phones as well transferring the songs between the phones uh, good times uh, really good times. so you you probably remember that that's just a big bag of nostalgia just there. Uh, it also has stereo, FM radio, and RDS. Uh, now let's go ahead and demo the speaker. So it's a single mono speaker, so nothing major there. However, the speaker is generally quite loud and it's decent. Uh, it's not crackly It's not crackly or tinny or anything like that. Uh, it gets the job done, uh, even though it's a single mono speaker. So let's go ahead and find the, uh, or the uh, ringtones here. So we have found the ringtones here and uh, just to point out that we'll be not covering all the ringtones in this video. I will be doing a separate nostalgic ringtones playlist video on this phone uh, covering all the ringtones on this phone. So definitely stay tuned for that video by hitting the subscribe button. It'll come out in about a week or so, uh, but we'll just go over some ringtones here today. So ring volume is eight, which is the maximum as you can see there. And this thing is pretty loud. So there's a caution message as well. Let's go to ringtones my ringtones themselves and this thing has a really interesting feature where each ringtone can actually be toned to a different volume while uh, you're in the ringtone section so bling watch this you can actually zero the ringtone and while it's playing You can actually change the uh, individual volumes of each ringtone, which is quite interesting. It's a nice feature. So Sony Ericsson ringtone. Let's do that again. Let's play one more, the startup sound. Do that once more. So yeah, those were the ringtones and a quick uh, speaker demo itself for the Sony Ericsson uh, Spyro there. And uh, now let us move on to battery and power.
All right, so let's take the back cover off here. And I really like this color. I just keep looking at it and the shape and everything, this lime green color, really, really like it. I'm glad I got this color, the rarer green color, because it really looks the nicest. So uh, this is the battery that this phone uses. Um, this is the Sony Ericsson BST33. There are multiple variations of this battery, but the general battery is the Sony Ericsson BST33. It's a thousand milliamp hour battery, which is more than enough for this phone. So with this battery, this thing can get up to about 480 hours of standby time, which is a huge, huge uh, amount of uh, standby time for a such a small phone with a thousand milliamp hour battery. It has a talk time of about four and a half hours ish and a music play time of about 20 hours. So really long music play times. Uh, if you just use it for music alone and some a few calls, this thing can actually get you through uh, two days itself if you're a music junkie. So really good battery performance. Like I said earlier, this is a Walkman phone. It was focused on music, uh, music performance and long battery lives uh, to keep that music playing throughout your day or throughout your work day or whatever. Uh, this is the battery bay of the phone. So made in China, Sony Ericsson, W100i, as you can see there. Uh, this is the simple battery bay. You have your um, SIM card slot over there and your micro SD expansion over there as well. So yeah, that was the Sony Ericsson W100i from 2010, a simple uh, Walkman device uh, that uh, gives excellent battery life for your music needs throughout the day and probably even two days. Uh, a very attractive design uh, with this color theming and all that stuff. Uh, four colors to choose from and I probably will get my hands on the other colors eventually. Um, so definitely stay tuned for those i'll definitely show them on video as well um this is the rarer green color so if you see one there's the startup tone so if you see a green one definitely get your hands on it because it is the rarer color and it's a very nice phone to have in your collection overall a mid-range phone from 12 years ago um definitely one of the nicer walkman phones in my opinion of course this thing also looks like a racing car as you can see it looks like a damn car with the kind of a spoiler like thing and this thing looks like a beast but this one is more uh simplistic and uh attractive in terms of colors and stuff it's a phone uh for the vibrant people uh, for for someone who uh, is very vibrant and uh, outgoing uh, I probably when I was young I probably would have gone for that because uh, I was a bit more towards the dull side of things but um, growing up eventually you learn to accept uh, you, you learn to uh, appreciate the colors and all that stuff uh, when it comes to more vibrant designs and stuff like that uh, but yeah that's just me uh, anyway this was the retro style review of the Sony Ericsson uh, W100i Spyro from 2010. I hope you enjoyed this video. And as always, if you did, don't forget to smash that like button down below and hit that subscribe button as well. And also ring that bell notification button so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. Uh, also hitting that like button helps this video get on YouTube's algorithm so everyone else can see it as well. Leave a comment down below or a question so we can start a discussion or I can answer your, uh, answer your question whether you where, what, where you want to get one of these things, where you can buy them from. Do you own one? Do you plan on getting one? Do you own one at some point? Et cetera, et cetera. Leave a question or a comment. We can start a discussion or answer your question. Uh, don't forget to check out my social media, which is linked down in the description below. Thumbs up and I'll see you guys in my next video.